In this 10 minute video, I'm going to show you how to set up a back test for MetaTrader 4. Once you've opened MetaTrader and decided that you need to run a back test, the first step is to get historical data. There's a little bit of preloaded data, but it's not enough to run a very lengthy back test. I like gold, and that's the chart I've chosen here. I need to know the time frame and the currency pair in order to load the correct data. No matter what you want to do, you should consider loading one minute data. One minute data is the smallest time frame available. By using the most accurate data possible, you improve the accuracy of your back test. The whole point in doing this is to give yourself an accurate picture of historical performance. Loading one minute data improves the quality of your back test to give you a more accurate estimate. Open a one minute chart for gold, which is the instrument that I'm back testing in this video. Go to the top left menu and then select File, New Chart, Gold, and then XAU USD. Now change the time frame. Select the M1 option from this menu strip or go to Charts, Periodicity, One Minute. We need to turn off auto scroll now that the chart is open. Push the button at the top with the little green triangle. It resembles a play button. You can also right click on the chart and choose properties or push F8. Select properties then common. If there is a check next to chart auto scroll, uncheck it. Now that the chart is open, go to tools and then options. Choose the tab labeled Charts, and look down here at Max Bars in History. If you don't see this number, just change it to 99999, and do the same thing with Max Bars and Chart. That setting allows MetaTrader 4 to load as much historical data as you could possibly want. Push OK and go back to your one minute charts. The next step is pretty boring. You need to push the home key. That will let MetaTrader 4 download your historical data. This part takes quite a long time, and unfortunately, it only works if you're pushing the home key. If you forget to turn off the auto scroll, the chart jumps ahead to the current bar. I selected one hour charts for back testing because I find them to strike the best balance between trading frequency and trading costs. Every time you enter a trade, you pay the broker the spread as a cost of entering. When you trade hyperactively on M1 charts or M5 charts, it's incredibly difficult to trade with any sort of edge. The costs of trading are simply too prohibitive. The chart I'd like to backtest is the one hour chart. So I need to repeat this process by scrolling back on the one hour charts until I've loaded enough data to cover the duration of my testing period. Change the chart time frame like this, confirm that auto scroll is off, and then push the home key until the dates extend beyond your testing window. We've finished all the legwork. We can skip the data loading step for any future tests involving one hour gold charts. If you decide to test another currency pair or time frame, then you need to follow this data loading process. Let's move on to loading our EA in the back tester and choosing our settings. I'm going to use the MACD sample EA because that's found in everybody's MetaTrader. I know that everyone watching this has this EA already loaded on their computer. The work we've done so far is for XAU USD, gold, on one hour charts. Select that option from the drop down menu. You're asked to select the model. This relates to how quickly and accurately you want the test to run. Your selections can enormously impact the test results. Expert advisors run sequentially through time. If you took all price history available throughout the day, which is commonly known as tick data, it contains tens of thousands of prices every single day. Condensing that information into blocks of time makes that data far more legible and easier to analyze. The display method can vary. Candlesticks, bars, lines on the chart, they all represent at least one common element. The start or open price of the time period and the end or close price for the time period. I casually refer to these discrete time elements as bars. You should assume that I mean a one hour period of time for this video. If you have a strategy that runs intrabar, meaning that your EA opens trades without waiting for the bar to close, 
you absolutely must use every tick. Otherwise, the backtester is forced to make assumptions about the price's behavior. This can create serious discrepancies between the modeled performance and what should have happened historically. Every tick is the most accurate option available, but it's also the most time consuming. EAs that trade only at the open of a new bar can get away with either using control points, so long as the stop loss and the take profit don't face the risk of getting hit within the same bar. If either your stop or take profit can possibly get hit within a single bar, the backtester may confuse which was struck first, the stop or the take profit. This again can create huge discrepancies in the reported results. The backtester might say you won when you lost and vice versa. All of this is a long way of telling you to use every tick unless you have a compelling reason to do otherwise. I don't recommend any back tests using open only prices. The modeling errors always come out too severely and the test is useless for analysis. Use data allows you to control the start and end date for the test. The format is year month date. The option on the left is the start date and the option on the right is the end date. My test will run from September 1st, 2013 to February 1st, 2014. Over here on the right, I can control the chart that I want to look at. Choose H1 as the time frame, which stands for one hour charts. Underneath that is the spread. That too can have a substantial impact on the back test. The spread is a cost of trading. It's critical that your back test use at least the broker's typical spread or worse. You want to assume what happens when things go wrong, not what might happen in fairy tale land. Historical back tests are usually the best case scenario. You should generally expect a reduction in performance when you move into the future. Using a spread that's worse than the broker spread is advisable to account for both variable spreads and potential negative slippage. The back test always gives you perfect fills, which I assure you doesn't happen in the real world. Slippage is a very real and present element of trading. I'm going to set the spread to 30 for this back test. And that's 30 micro pips, which is 3 pips. That's far worse than Oanda's typical spread. If a strategy can survive a 3 pip spread on XAU USD, it can be an encouraging sign of performance potential. Lastly, we need to go to Expert Advisor. This is where we control the inputs unique to the Expert Advisor that you're testing. Click on the Inputs tab if it's not already available. Every EA has different settings. Instead of talking about the MACD sample EA in detail, I want to keep this high level so you understand the different columns. Here on the left is the settings used in the back test. If you want to change the lot size traded for every signal, this is the box that you change. The boxes on the right only apply to optimization, which we'll cover in a separate video. Push OK when you're happy with the settings. Visual mode does not affect the test results. If you want to see trades fire off on the charts, then put a check next to this option. Leave it unchecked if you just care about the performance report. Pushing start kicks off the back test and you're ready to analyze the results. Mm -hmm.